Hey everyone, welcome to a circle tutorial. Today we'll cover a basic punishment command that you can use within your server to punish server members, staff, and more. We'll start out by heading to our server dashboard and locate the custom commands plugin. Click the create new button and we'll be met with our custom command configuration panel. Now to begin, we'll set our command name. This is what you will use to trigger your command. For this command, we'll set ours as infract. Next, we have our response channel. You should set this to the channel where you want Circle to send the infraction message. For this command, I'll use the punishments channel. For now, we'll skip the command response channel. That'll be done later. The delete response after field is not needed for this command, unless you want the infraction message to be deleted after a certain amount of seconds. The number of required arguments field dictates how many arguments you must have for Circle to run the command. If you don't have that, Circle will not run the command. This is optional and depends on how many arguments you'll have in your command. For our command, we'll have four arguments, and we must specify all of them for the command to work. Therefore, we'll be putting four in that field. The next field will allow Circle to mention at everyone, at here, and any other roles. For this command, it's not needed unless you want to ping a large number of people every time you run the command. We'll keep it off for this command. Now we'll move to the command permissions drop down menu. Since we select a response channel earlier, then we don't need to clarify a required channel. However, you may do so if you wish. For your required role field, select the role that you want to be able to infract different users. You may also enable the delete command trigger, which deletes the command. We'll now begin working on what circle responds with when you run the command. Scrolling back up to the command response field, we'll put the variable open brace one dot user dot mention close brace into that field. This will mention the first argument, the person that we want to infract, that we specify. Therefore, notifying the person of the infraction. Now let's move on to editing the embed that will send the infraction message. For the embed title, that'll be the main title. For main command, I'll use infraction, but you may also use staff infraction or something along those lines. For the command description, I'll start with the first line, which is the user I want to punish. For this field, I'll use the open brace one dot user dot mention close brace variable, which will mention the first user in my command that I specify. For my next line, I'll use the open brace user closed brace variable to dictate the handler of the punishment. This will automatically populate to the user who ran the command. We'll now move on to the information about the command. We'll start with the punishment, use the open brace to close brace variable. Keep in mind that you can only use one word for this. So if you want to use multiple words for the punishment type, you'll have to add a dash in between the words that you want or something else along those lines. Next, we'll have the appealability status. This is the same for the previous field, as circle will only recognize one word and adding a space will mess up the command response. Finally, we can add our reason, and that'll be open bracket four plus close bracket. And you'll notice that I added a plus after the four, meaning that you can input as many words as possible and circle will recognize all of them. And with that, we're done. We've completed the basic command. Every other field in the embed is optional, and I suggest going through them to customize them further. For our command, we'll be adding an embed timestamp, which will append the time of the infraction when you run the command. This is optional. You may also add an embed image and logo using the embed images field. Once you are done customizing your embed, close the embed editor, save the command, and test it out. As you can see, this is what your command will respond with. To punish a user, you'll run C, exclamation mark, infract, at user, punish type, appealability, and reason. If you had trouble following along in this video, have a question or anything else, I'll link the custom command import code, along with instructions on how to import that for yourself. Thanks for watching.